Hello Taurus, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these this reading will not resonate with every Taurus. And let's just jump right in for the reading. This is going to be about the person you're thinking about connecting with at this time. For Taurus, what do we need to know about the person that Taurus is thinking about? or connecting with at this time spirit. What are their energies towards Taurus? What are they feeling? Thinking, feeling about Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about what this person is thinking? Feeling about them. Eight of Pentacles, okay. What are they thinking, feeling? Taurus. Eight, Eight of Pentacles is about working hard, being focused, dedicating your time to something, putting in effort, right? The Emperor, Aries energy. The Emperor is also very active. They are very decisive, doers. They like to get out there and kind of take charge of the situation. So I feel like your person right now is thinking about taking charge of a situation that has to do with you or this connection. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Again, very active energy with the Queen of Wands. What they want, they typically get. Um, they're very bold um, in going after what they're interested in. Yeah, and the Magician is at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, your person is thinking about taking some sort of action or taking some sort of charge of a situation, controlling a situation, or just moving towards a goal or taking action towards a particular goal. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, what can you tell me? Seven of Wands, okay. Okay, tell me, okay. Oh my gosh, my deck. Okay, so, mm, King of Swords. Something happened between you and this person, some sort of conflict. And um, I feel like this Seven of Wands is them having to kind of stand up against whatever consequences this conflict brought about. So there was some sort of issue between you and this person, maybe deception, maybe they mistreated you, maybe you just had a fight. Because of this Five of Swords, your person now is thinking about how to overcome the consequences of that. Maybe you are resistant to talking to them. Maybe you've blocked them. Maybe they need to have courage to come forward. Maybe they're just worried that, um, you know, things are not fixable or not able to be repaired. And so they're thinking, okay, how do I take charge of this? What do I do about this? Um, the Four of Swords is here as well, which is a card about healing and rest, reflection. I think with the Seven of, uh, of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, it's almost like your person's thinking, like, what now? How, how is this going to work? Am I going to be successful? I think that also some of you here um, might have stopped talking to this person or the communication is just not the best because I feel like you're this nine of pentacles and I'm almost getting this energy of like, I don't have time for you right now or I'm not interested in what you have to say. I'm doing very well and I don't need to be distracted. That's kind of the energy I get here. So I feel like Taurus, and this has been happening in many Taurus readings. It's, it's like you're at a different stage in your life or you are at a certain state of mind where someone feels like they have to to win you back or fix a problem with you and maybe this is with communication because the king of swords is at the bottom of the deck spirit tell me about the emperor what's going on here with the emperor why is the emperor here knight of wands yes moving very boldly forward two of wands so yeah, this is somebody that definitely is feeling like they're almost like having to choose to take a certain action here. 
I don't know what's going on with my deck, but cards just want to, like... Yeah, because they're regretful. Five of Cups, Three of Swords. Maybe they're very heartbroken about what's happened. Six of Swords. Maybe one of you walked away here. I feel like with the Two of Wands and the Six of Swords, this person might have to travel to see you. But I feel like this is more about clearing the air, Ace of Swords, talking things out, having a very honest discussion. For some reason, this is like a bold act for your person. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Six of Wands, success, victory. A positive outcome. I feel like your person's hoping for, yeah, some sort of um, success here with uh, whatever they're planning. Because they are planning something. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. One more. Four of Cups. I think that this person is going to want to clear up misunderstandings, but also kind of want to start over or start new ace of pentacles ace of wands yeah let's let's have a really happy new beginning again ace of wands the sun or this would make them extremely happy for you to be like yeah I, i'll consider that um however this four of cups is telling me that some of you have probably already told this person that you're not interested or you're not going to be interested in what they have to offer you or maybe this is how your person is expecting you to be. Maybe they're wrong about that, but this is what they're like seeing from you. Because I see resistance here. Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, you know, because of whatever this Five of Swords was. What is this person's energy? Spirit, what is this person's overall energy when it comes to... Taurus. What is this person's overall energy when it comes to Taurus or this connection? What do we need to know, Spirit? Budding romance, new love, romance, and courtship. Romance is in the air. Yeah, I feel like this person might even try to be very sweet about their approach. Tell me more about this person's energy. What are their, what's their energy, sir? New beginnings. Oh yeah, this is about starting new. Starting over. Um, trying again. The energy is pretty clear here. And I think it's because, you know, when I see things like starting over, starting fresh, a new beginning, a new start, is typically because something has ended previously or didn't get off the ground previously. You know? The Six of Swords could be that one of you moved away or one of you left the connection or one of you told the other one to pack their bags. You know, whatever that may be. It's going to be different for all of you, but obviously someone was very hurt by this. Five of Cups, Three of Swords. You know, and since this is your person's feelings here that we're diving into, um, I have a feeling that either they regret hurting you or they were very hurt by the departure. Can I get one more insight, please, into this person's energy? What do we need to know for this person's energy? Occupation, working hard, putting in effort. Whoever this is, there's effort behind what they're trying to achieve. It's all over this reading. And there's Privileged Lady. There's like the Nine of Pentacles here. Maybe they feel this is the only way to prove to you that they're serious, right? I'm going to prove to you that I'm serious about this proposal because, you know, uh, you. I know that's what you deserve or, you know, something like that. You, you, you are someone that I feel like I need to make things up to, etc., etc. What does this person wish to tell you? Spirit, what does this person wish to tell Taurus? 
What do they wish they could tell Taurus at this time? I hide behind material things. I feel like some of you, this person is going to bring you a gift, like a physical gift. But for others of you, I'm getting here almost like they weren't who you thought they were for whatever reason. Maybe they were very insecure and hid behind, you know, what thing, the things they owned. Or, you know, maybe they thought that all that they had to um, do in a connection is just provide financially. And there was obviously more that was needed. I think this person is just... They haven't really truly been themselves with you for whatever reason. I'm getting this energy of some of you fought about money or stability. Spirit, what are this person's intentions towards Taurus? What are their genuine intentions towards Taurus? What are their genuine intentions for it towards Taurus? Okay, Strength, Leo Energy, and the King of Cups with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So their intention, I feel, is they're, they're motivated by how they feel. And I think that their emotions are real, King of Cups. I think that um, they have feelings for you. That I see. But I also get the sense that in their mind, they have to bring this under control. They have to have courage to obtain what they want. They have to be, you know, strong. And maybe they're forcing things a little bit too much with strength here. Maybe they need to not be so forceful, you know? Maybe they have an issue with, like, letting things unfold naturally. But I think it's due to fear with the Seven of Pentacles here. Because they, I think that they're just so wrapped up in success here. That they might not, it's almost like they might be a little off-putting. That's kind of what I'm getting when I see that Strength card. Despite the fact that their intentions seem to be to, to kind of act on their feelings. King of Cups. And the Nine of Cups tells me that this would be their wish fulfilled. This would be what would make them really happy. Is to bring this situation under control. Or to kind of make sure, you know, that it's successful. What else do we need to know about what this person is thinking, feeling. When it comes to Taurus or this connection. I wish I could be with you. This card keeps coming up for so many signs. Um, so you're not together with this person. That this would be your person's wish is for their offer to be accepted. For there to be a new beginning, a new romance with you. This is something that they're really working on, Taurus. Like this is not just somebody that calls you up. I feel like they have to prove something to you. Bottom of the deck, I would take it all back if I could. There's that regret again. I feel like, the, you know, for the Taurus that I'm speaking to, and of course, let me know in the comments if this has been resonating for you, but I feel like this person is needing to prove themselves to you because of the past. There's regrets, there's sadness, there's heartache here because of what happened in the past, and they have themselves to blame here. But also, I feel like maybe they mistreated you because they didn't know any better or because they didn't realize that you weren't going to just sit there and take it. So there was some sort of separation here. And now your person's thinking, I, you know, I really wish I could get Taurus back. What do I have to do to win Taurus back? Well, I need to clear up whatever misunderstandings we had. I need to apologize. I would take it all back if I could. You know, I need to be willing to show that I'm able or willing to put in more effort more time more energy into this connection because i have a feeling that they didn't do that in the past and now it's like they're trying to make up for all of those things that they weren't able to deliver before so that's what i have for you taurus hopefully you enjoyed this reading thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care